Hey guys, Jarek here and welcome to Amber Escape. And today I will be scouting a new location to find some fossils. But first I need to get through the forest and get into the river. And what kind of fossils I'm expecting today. So basically I will be looking for some fossilized corals from the Silurian uh, epoch. Probably, because I haven't been in this place before. And maybe some sort of matrix blocks that I can, you know, smack open and find some something interesting in there. So yeah, so let's get through this forest and find the river first. I found the river, there is a lot of algae, not a lot of rocks. So now I need to find uh, the place of this river, which is a little bit more shallow and rocky, so we can start finding some fossils. So here's a little bit more rocky place. Let's test the ground. This is quite a good sign to be honest. This is crinoid stems all over it. Not bad. Okay, moving to the next location with bigger rocks, hopefully. But first I need to find where I can cross the river, because uh, there it was quite shallow but in this place the river is ahead, it's quite deep and I have only these boots uh, up my knee so I can't go too deep because I will freeze <laughs> the summer is over and the Fenia is already quite cold so yeah, I have to be careful not to get sick because ember season is starting and people already started finding some embers so I can't wait for the new, you know, some sort of storm and we will go amber hunting hopefully soon. Yep, this looks about right, quite shallow. I can see a lot of algae from afar, but first I need to get past these slippery cut trees. Okay. Oops. Yeah, lots of algae covering the rocks. The visibility is not great. The algae is kind of getting old. It will disappear in a month or two months. But right now I have to deal with the algae. Yeah, this kind of uh, mounds with rocks on the shore is exactly what I'm looking for. Because in the water itself, because of the algae, I can barely see anything. It's very easy to miss fossils between the rocks if it wasn't raining. They mix up perfectly with the soil and rocks and it's the same as finding Waldo in these stuffed comics. Finally a fossil and a big one at that and I do know these patterns. <laughs> Hello beauty, let's clean it off a bit, yes it is a coral and this is Syringopora uh, fossil tablet coral from the Silurian epoch, like very very old, let's clean it off a bit and this is exactly what I'm looking for, big chunky nice corals, oh baby I'm happy now. It's not the best, uh, the most comfortable location to hunt because the rocks are slippery as is, and they are, are and they are covered in slimy algae. So that's like a combo. But there, I see some rocks laying around. Okay, I put my uh, hammer. I did took my hammer from the backpack because I did find three rocks that can contain fossils. All of the other rocks, these are granite. No fossils can be found, but these three, I will smack them.
None of the rocks I cracked that day had any significant fossils, only some common tiny shells of bivalves and brachiopods, and in total I smacked over like a hundred rocks easily. Look at the patterns, it's tiny patterns of Favocita coral. In other words, this is a honeycomb coral. Also top blade, uh, also from the Silurian age. And very nice specimen, like big. Like, no, not very big, but for me this is big, because I often think on the small chunks. This is so neat, to be honest. Like an egg. Yeah, now I'm happy. After these two finds, now I'm wondering, I have some sort of um, challenge maybe, I don't know, like these two corals are very beautiful specimens of tabula tabulate corals from the Silurian. So basically to find a whole collection in one trip, I still need uh, sun coral uh, and oh, the sun coral scientific name would be Sarcinula and I still need the chain coral and there is different species of all of these corals. So let's try and find them all in one trip. Another unusual rock, and it is yep a colony of corals, but what kind of corals? Let's check. Interesting. <laughs> it's quite neat, but uh, not exactly a keeper, because uh, it's very hard to clean corals like this one. And anyway, this is a colony of some sort of Orgosa-like horn corals. corals. I think. <laughs> well, it's neat looking, but when dried out, not very cool. In any way, I will take it. <laughs> nice. I'm basically some sort of adventure. I found an abandoned house. Quite interesting. I wanna look inside. I don't think so. anyone lives here anymore. So let's see what's inside. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm not sure how safe, but cool. Fossils like this one I'm finding very co very commonly, very often. This is crinoid stems. Also very, as well very old. And uh, I don't record uh, fossils like this one anymore because they are just not the keepers. I'm, I'm finding uh, a lot of shells, broken mostly brachiopods. Uh, fossils like that are very abundant here. Uh, this concretion probably had some sort of gastropod, but it's gone now. So yeah, I'm trying to show you only the keepers, pretty much. My hunting time for today is ending slowly and I haven't still found my favorite uh, coral of the set which is, uh, who watch me, they might know that my favorite one is the chain corals. I, I, I absolutely adore these corals and I really hope to find today, today like a bigger piece, like, by bigger I mean palm sized. And I'm running out of, out of time, the clock is ticking. And I see another egg-like Sirigompora fossil. The coral, of course. Do you see it? <laughs> yeah, this one is a keeper as well. Very neat looking. I'm not sure if I can clean them nicely, but these are really cool specimens. I like the size. <laughs> like a ball. Let's keep looking. I hope this one is not the last of today. Okay, the time has run out and I have to go home because it's Friday and I have some other plans for the evening. <laughs> I failed to collect the holy set of tabulate corals from the Silurian epoch, but when at home I will show you which ones I wanted to find all in one day. So, see you home. In conclusion of 9 hours of hunting, I found 4 keepers only, 2 neat Syringopora corals, colony of horn corals 
and egg-shaped favositas, which I will try to polish up in the future. And that's fine, because all of these will go on the display, because they are cool enough. And these are the ones from my collection, which I wanted to try and find today, to complete tablet coral set. My favorite ones, the chain corals, I have few nice sized prepped specimens already, but I'm always hungry for more. And Sardinula, the sun corals, I have few of these as well, in different preservations, both cool. And yeah, that's it for the video, I'm back from holidays, well rested and ready to continue content creation. Smash that like button if enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I have bunch of videos like this one and will create more in the future. And now, bye, thanks for watching and see you next time.